But yeah, y'all, there's trouble at the OVO um, headquarters. <laughs> Lil Yachty apparently unfollowed um, Champagne Poppy. And people are upset about it. Word is Yachty is upset because he got took off bad and bougie. He got he got kicked off bad and bougie. Um, blogs were reporting earlier today that Yachty unfollowed Drake. Just a day after it was reported Drake is keeping um, that Super Soak or Super Soaker, whatever the name of the song is called. Um, Drake is keeping the song for himself. And he gave Yachty the boot. And, and you know what's funny? Yachty was on this press tour. He was on this press tour talking about nothing but Drake. Like, how are you on a press tour for somebody else and you barely talking about yourself? Like, the majority of your um, your talking points are in regard to Drake and how he's that guy, how he gets all the girls, and now he got your song. Now he got your song, according to academics, because you know he can't hold water. So soon as he found out, he ran, ran to his basement Ran to his basement and let everybody know that, yeah, that guy, he just took my song. He just deboed me. He just deboed you and took your song that you just got hell for. Because, again, in those in that those interviews, you done revealed how you're a terrible person because you tried to debo Mr. Hotspot into giving you the clearance for the sample. And he didn't give it to you. So you still leaked it to Kai Sinat because you tried to maneuver and get around being able to still put the song out, even though Mr. Hotspot said no. And then you doing that had all of these ugly trolls, all these ovi holes going to his Instagram page, his TikTok and harassing him, telling him he's being ungrateful and to, to clear the sample. So now people are realizing you're a terrible person too. You done did all of that, exposed yourself, got dragged through the mud just for Drake to kick you off your own song and take it for himself, allegedly. <laughs> Lil Boat was doing the most. The <laughs> Everybody say, oh, me, ho, oh, me, ho, say, oh, me, ho. <laughs> Terrible. Terrible. Yes, I know that basement stank. It got to stink. It... <laughs> oh, my God. I can't. I can't. I can't. Make sure y'all like the video. We're trying to get the likes to 100 likes. Um, and if you're not, please subscribe to the channel. We on our way to 5K. Um, But, yeah, so... Someone found the screenshot. I don't I don't know who be checking this stuff, but of course, you know, it went viral on Twitter, so I saw it. Um, but yeah, Yachty unfollowed him. Some people said that he ended up following him back, but why did you unfollow him to begin with? There's there's clearly something going on at the OVO headquarters. Somebody is at the OVO headquarters. Stomping their feet, huffing and puffing because they upset about something. And you know why we could say that? Because according to Drake, because Whitney wasn't following Mr. Morale, there clearly got to be something going on. So there's clearly trouble in paradise at the OVO headquarters. The Eskimo brothers are having problems. Like, why did you, why did you unfollow him to begin with? Are you guys looking for attention? We know you guys like attention. Is this another tactic to get people to talk about you? We know how y'all play. We know how y'all do. We know how y'all play. We know how y'all do. But this, if if it is some trouble in paradise, I just hope you know, Yadi, you are no different than the 300 plus other artists that Drake has used up 
seen that they were already popping and decided to add his name to it. So it goes up a little bit more, but keep in mind, the song was already popping or creating a little bit of buzz. So he decides to add himself to it, not contributing to the, the song being good from the beginning. He's just adding another verse to it. And then he throws them in the trash and he doesn't deal with them anymore. You are not special, Yachty. You are not special. You are not special at all. I hope you know that. Please remember that. You are not that guy. But y'all remember, I don't know if any of y'all know this, but do y'all remember when Lil Yachty got into a fight with a random, um, with a random Drake fan on, on Twitter during the, the battle? Let me see if I can zoom in on this. I don't think I can. But so backstory backstory is um yadi did this interview first of all he's always in an interview yadi why are you always in an interview you don't have that much to say you're not that interesting to always be in an interview but yeah so <laughs> yadi was doing an interview and he said the beef was ended when kendrick dropped not like us so his the fans got mad at Yachty for saying this. Well, I think it's over. I think it ended. I think it well, I think it's over. Well, I think it's over. I think it ended. I think it ended with <laughs> why did he say it like that? I think it's over. Yeah, I know Yachty wanted to dance and listen to them songs so bad, but he, he got to do it in secret whenever Drake is around. Because if y'all remember correctly, Yachty said Kendrick was one of his favorite artists, or he said that Kendrick was the GOAT. So I know he be sneaking and listening to these songs. <laughs> but he got to save face. Well, I think it's over. I think it ended. I think they got so mad at him for saying this. And so some some girl says something to him. I don't even think this is her real profile picture. Somebody says she's a, it's actually a man hiding behind a woman's uh, picture. But <laughs> she said something to him. And he responded to her, you making as what it's not. Everybody and their mama know what side I'm on. You fans be overdoing as well ish i didn't go into any specifics on the song stop trying to spin narratives so mad at little boat they were so mad at little boat and then this guy with a girl profile picture said man get the f off my face with this bs get the f off my face what what does that even mean I simply reposted your own words. You said you don't think Drake won or lost. You have respect for the guy who called him a certified PDF file and said that the song is banned. <laughs> what kind of friend are you? You stay silent watching your friend's character get attacked. You actually made it worse with that interview. Pick a side or shut up. They were furious. <laughs> oh my God. It went from, oh my God, they were so confident in them 17 days when Kendrick wasn't saying nothing, when Kendrick was nowhere to be found. They were so confident, beating their chest just to see them on the internet crying still to this day. Still to this day, they're crying and making up all this weird stuff. Like I just seen, I just seen some academics page tweet tweet that Kendrick had fake locks. Like, y'all are so desperate. Didn't somebody just say like two weeks ago, Drake got a lace front braid, Drake, uh, lace front braids, and now y'all trying to say Kendrick got fake locks? Like, y'all are grasping at, at straws just to feel some type of confidence. Like, you guys have been so miserable for the last four months. Like, imagine having a stomach ache for the last four months. Like, I know that's how they feel. I know that's, I know that they wake up in the middle of the night having hot flashes. It's insane, bro. It is insane. 
panicking, spiraling, spiraling. Nobody cousin, but he keep having interviews. Like I've never seen somebody have an interview drop. He drop at least two different interviews a week. Like it's crazy. It ain't that much talking in the world, especially about yourself. But they, cousin, they saying um, him and him and Wayne beefing. I don't know how true that is. I think a couple weeks ago we all we had a live where I'm like I don't know, but that's what they saying him and Wayne beefing right now. <laughs>